Hey everyone, for this first tutorial on ecological networks, we're first going to talk about what is a network, then we're going to talk about what a network is typically composed of, and lastly, what are the different types of networks we're likely to encounter in ecological research. So first, let's talk about a network and its components. Typically, a network is essentially a graphical representation of a system we're interested in understanding. Typically, these graphs consist of a node, nodes and links or edges between these nodes. Okay? A node in an ecological network, for example, might represent a species, individual or resource, even though most of the examples that you'll see right now consist primarily of species. Whereas a link or an edge indicates an interaction between two nodes within a network. Okay, so now that we know what the different uh, components of a network are, let's talk about different types of network networks. Okay, so one of the different types of networks you're going to likely to encounter is a unipartite network. So first I'm going to cover up uh, the undirected network, and we're going to talk about a directed network because this is something that we typically encounter. Um, a directed network is an example of a food web. And so what I mean by being a directed network is that you notice that the links between nodes within this network have direction in terms of, and typically for a food web we might denote this direction as a feeding interaction in terms of the flow of energy between nodes. So for example, you could think of this path right here as being a food chain where we have a basal plant node, for example, going to a herbivore energy from a herbivore going to um, a predator and then to a top predator. Okay, so that's a basic example of a directed network. Rem remember the links, the direction of the links are important. Whereas in an undirected unipartite network, there's no um, direction between the particular links. And typically these undirected networks are uh, typical of social networks. Okay, so now, that we know what unipartite networks are. The other type of network that, w that it's common in ecological research um, is a bipartite network. So what bipartite networks represent, um, typically they have two different groups. Um, often you'll see uh, a basal group such as like a plant, a group of different plant species, and then herbivores or pollinators. But again, this could also represent, you could have herbivores here and parasitoids or particular predators. Any sort of interaction where um, you can distinctly uh, make two different groups. And the important distinction for a bipartite network is that links occur between groups not within them, okay? Whereas if we look back at the unipartite directed network, you can see that there's no necessarily group structuring here, that you can just see all these possible species could potentially be linked to each other. The bipartite network has, is more structured. No links between species within a group, only links um, between groups, okay? Hope that um, short tutorial on the different types of networks was helpful.